six parts, fifteen degrees each. So it will be divided. So my zero, one, two, three, four, five, six will be fifteen degrees of PQ, and my crank will keep on rotating what thirty degrees. Let's see. Now we divide this particular point into six parts of fifteen degrees each. As you can see in the figure, it is fifteen degrees each. This is a forty-five degree angle, so fifteen, fifteen, fifteen. Again, this is a forty-five degree angle, so fifteen, fifteen, and fifteen. Okay. Now we need to draw the crank circle for these particular things. So we'll draw the circles. Draw the circles for these particular positions. As you can see, at Q one, Q two, Q three, then it goes at Q four, then it goes at Q five, then it makes at Q double dash. That is my extreme position. So I have the different position of my circle at different times. Now what is next? Now, for I need to find the position of one on Q one. Now what is basically happening? You can see, see, this particular thing is rotating and this particular thing is moving. So what will happen from Q till Q one? If my link PQ is going from Q to Q one, my disc is rotating from zero to one. So I need to mark the position of, uh, say, a point one on this particular circle. How can I do that? See, I'll take the radius. I'll measure the radius from P till one, because that is the straight distance. That is the maximum distance of point one from P. That is possible. So here on Q one, one is at a maximum distance from point P. So I'll take this particular distance and I will mark an arc. How will I mark an arc? Here I go. Here I have an arc, so I mark it one. Now what? If I want for two, I'll measure the difference. P. Yeah. Here. here we go. For P. So for the second point, I'll measure the distance P two, and I'll cut an arc on circle that is uh, circle that is being made from Q two. Again for Q three, same. Distance P to three. P three is a distance. Mark an arc on the circle that is Q three. This is the where is it? Yeah, this is the circle Q three on which this is the point three that is marked. So we have four, then we have five, then we have six. Now what happens? This is my extreme position that I have achieved. Now what? My crank cannot go beyond that. So when I want to mark my point seven, I'll take the same distance P to seven. But I need to mark it on what? I need to mark it on the circle position which is there after Q double dash, which is Q five. So my P seven, P seven distance arc will again come on the fifth point. As you can see, I'll take it again. Here we go. Right now, eight will come on again. What? Four. Then nine will come on. Three. Ten will come on. Two. Eleven will come on one, and again I have my zero. So I have the different points for different positions of the disc. I have the different points and the different position of the oscillating rod PQ. Now I just need to connect those points. So what will I do? I will draw the locus. I will join with a smooth curve. La 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 la. Again it is done. Start from zero. It goes to one. It goes to two. It goes to three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and zero. This is a simple problem. For which we have the required locus. Okay. So, what have we learnt in today's session? We learnt what is a locus. What is a locus? It needs specific condition and a specific path. It connects the points, and all the points, a set of points, come on and prepare a locus. And the some common loci that we encounter: circles, parallel lines, and uh, di uh, angle dividers, something like that. And then we have four mechanisms that we study. We uh, we studied with simple slider crank mechanism, lo locus on the connecting rod. Then offside slider crank mechanism, locus on the connecting rod. Four bar link mechanism, locus on the connecting rod, as well as beyond the connecting rod. And lastly, we discussed a pendulum which has a rotating disc at the end. So, I thank you all for this session. i hope you all got to uh, got knowledge that is required and if you have any doubts please feel free to contact on the email id or the best option is to go to your engineering graphic professor and ask your doubt but clear your doubts i have mentioned a very uh, small tag line on my last slide when you know better you do better so never quit knowing better 
then you already know okay thank you and have a lovely day and keep studying and keep enjoying